How's everyone doing today? This is Uni with the Universe here, coming in with my first YouTube video. Um, I decided that I definitely wanted to do something for Sony's 25th anniversary of the PlayStation. So uh, what we got here, as you can tell here, is a Sony PlayStation 1. Um, this is one of my favorite consoles, uh, lots of good times. Uh, we've played it already on stream a few times, but this one here is a little bit different. I found this one at a thrift store. They were asking about five bucks for it, and it was really, really dingy. Uh, as we look around, you can tell that there's no actual physical damage on the on the unit, uh, which, you know, all right, you know, I already have one. Why would I grab a second one? And then I look at the back of this baby. It has those beautiful audio video ports in the back. Now, the nice thing about AV is they put out a little bit nice, uh, nicer sound and a nicer video quality, so video capture should be a whole lot uh, better. I want to use this system for the stream. Uh, as we could tell, as we look a little bit closer, that it is a model number SCPH-1001. So this is a Gen 1 unit. And I've already attempted to do a bit of a scrub on it. Like I said, when I got it, it was really really dirty really dingy so we looked around or i looked around actually um cleaned it up and i was like well i wonder i wonder how this unit plays when i booted it up when i brought it home it was uh it wasn't it wasn't bad it worked but the laser didn't so i ordered a new laser now i did a lot of research and i found that this laser here would be the newest of the models that would actually work with this unit here. So we open this up, you'll notice it's got a kind of a grayish, metalish looking kind of uh, top piece here, or if you look on the inside, my current one is black. So what we have to do with this is we actually have to replace those, those top bezel pieces for that laser there to work into this uh, system here. So yeah, we're just going to uh, take this unit apart. We're going to get rid of those uh, those top pieces, kind of swap them, put that black one on that new laser. We'll get it reseated. We'll take a look to see exactly uh, if it works. All right, so we have the bottom of the PlayStation and we have five screws, one in each corner and one in the middle underneath my hand which uh, when I started uh, working on this, I kind of forgot that bottom middle one. <laughs> ah, here we go. Let's, let's get rid of that. All right, so we'll pull this apart here. Uh, in a minute, you're gonna see, I've, like I said, I've attempted uh, when I first got it to see what it was like and that laser wasn't working when I tried to pull it off it just the whole ribbon snapped on it so that's why we are replacing the uh, the laser unit in it I'm trying to see if we could get this this baby back up and running so we'll just take up the take off the top here and there we go over on the left hand side here you can see it that's actually the systems uh, PSU here right over here uh, we have the laser in the top. We have obviously the motherboard on the bottom with all of its processors. So we'll take this off here. You'll notice right off the bat that I can scoop it up. I don't have to unplug the ribbon because the ribbon snapped in half. Really, really brittle. So we'll unplug the, uh, the power connector right there. And right there is where the uh, the ribbon broke, but that's actually where the ribbon cable plugs in. So the good little yank, out she comes. We'll peel back this tape here. And there we go. Now this this cable that I, that I was just touching for the power, we definitely want to keep it. Now what we'll notice is the model number is KSM 440 AAM. There were no replacements for this exact laser model when I went searching, uh, which is not really a bad thing. Now, I'm gonna keep this just because, like I said, this is a first gen, this is a launch model uh, PlayStation. Uh, we just have to unscrew those two screws at the top there and we can pull that shroud off. Um, 
But yeah, when I went looking around, the closest thing I could find was the one that we picked up, which is a KSM 440 BAM. Now, some of the reports um, with the AAM laser was, it was a not a really good laser. It was really horrible. You'll hear lots of stories of people talking about their first PlayStation and how they had to flip it upside down just so that the laser could read the discs. So, you know what, in the long run, this is pretty good that we're getting that old thing out of there and getting a newer model. Like I said, this is a brand new model uh, laser that I've purchased. Well, brand new old stock, you know what I mean. Uh, so we'll get this in. We'll see if we can get this up and running here. All right, so here is the old uh, 440 AAM. We're gonna remove these two screws here. Cause that's all that's really holding that on, uh, in are those two screws and then there's a clip on either side and one, a big clip on the bottom. But you'll notice while I'm trying to uh, disassemble this, I did not know this. I got a lot of this just from uh, text that I read on the internet. I didn't watch any videos or anything like that. I should have. Would have made this a little bit quicker, a little bit easier. Alright, so screws are removed. I'm trying to figure this out. Alright, so she wiggles. Kind of kink it to the side, and out it comes. Beautiful. And it's in one piece. I did not break it. And that's a great thing. So we'll see here. You got all the little cogs that move the uh, laser up and down. So let's get the new one here. So this is the 440 BAM. That has a much nicer looking uh, shroud on the top. Unfortunately, it can't stay. Here, I'll put a little bit of a comparison here. So everything kind of matches up except for the bottom left and this side over here. It just kind of bumps out a lot more. I know it doesn't really look like it in that angle. But uh, it has to go. So same with the other one. We just removed the two screws up at the top. Uh, this one here, since it's brand new, the uh, the clips were a little bit harder for me to uh, to remove. But we'll uh, we will remove it. All right. And this one here. Like I said, with it being a little bit new, those clips were they were on. They did not really want to remove all too much. But with a little bit of finessing, a little bit of massaging, we'll call it, uh, we ended up getting it removed. The ones on the sides clipped off really easy. It was just that bottom one. There we go. And we'll just wiggle it out just like the other one. And it's removed. So like I said, um... With the other one, the other one has that power cable, which we definitely needed. It's a good thing I wasn't being dumb and yanked real hard and, and destroyed it, because that would have sucked huge. So we'll just yank it out real gently there. There she goes. We'll put it into this unit here. And the nice thing is, is the way those clips are made, you can't put the uh, the cables in wrong. Like they're they're guided with a little bit of a tabs on on either side. Uh, here's the ribbon. Um, they are really, really, really fragile. I was scared that I almost broke that one, but hey, we got it in. Let's put the old shroud back on. And just slide that back under. And kind of get those clips back on. It took me a moment. I thought they were on when I started... Uh, screwing them on in the first place and I'm like nope didn't get it just checking the other laser to make sure that the bottoms were the same ah, there we go there you go Einstein <laughs> line up the holes all right so we just kind of clip it on like I said first time just trying to figure it out looks pretty good we'll put the screws on now what I did with the old laser which I've cut out 
is actually put that new shroud back onto the old laser. Like I said, I'm keeping that old laser because it is, it is something that you can't actually find. You can't find the uh, the uh, 440 AAM in. Well, like I said, in any of the searches I tried, I did not find any of them. So we are gonna get this into its right spot here. go and one screw in and god I bought this new precision set <laughs> hashtag not sponsored but if somebody wants to sponsor me I will gladly take your monies all right there it is it's all set up it all fits looks good let's uh let's just fix this here and then we'll get it on to the uh, PlayStation itself All right, back to the PlayStation here. All right, so here's the unit here. Now there's two things that we have to connect. One is that ribbon and that port there, you kind of lift up and then it slides in, then you clip it down for it to lock. Right here, I'm just going to plug the power into it. Uh, like I said, you can't plug that in wrong just because it only goes in one way. And with this, it's, it's kind of obvious how this one goes in because you're not twist in that ribbon it just kind of goes in slides in and then you lock it down now I was just making sure that it actually went all the way in I was scared that it wasn't all the way in that's why you'll see me kind of testing and make sure that it's still there and we'll line up the uh, the pegs for it and there you go looks good I guess I'm a little, I'm a little, uh, a little scared that it's not in all the way. I'm testing it a few times. All right, so there we go. It's seated properly, looks proper. So let's put the lid back on this thing. Beautiful. So I'll flip it over. We'll put in the screws, and then we'll do a test. And I am not going to talk during the test. I'm actually going to let you guys hear exactly my first boot on this. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys can see and hear the, uh, excitement. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, little video. Um, please like and subscribe. Uh, like I said, this is a new channel. I'm usually on Twitch every weekday morning. Um, just doing my thing with a bunch of random games. So until then, you guys have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.